So the first one is local, 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 right? If you grew something in the most perennial regenerative system in the world in China and shipped it here, it's not good for the climate, right? So whatever you're growing, the more locally you can grow it, and the more locally you can market it, that's just an absolutely phenomenal contribution to climate change. And this needs to happen just on a, you know, orders of magnitude more than we're doing it now. Uh, organic no-till. I'm so happy to report, I just got a copy of this book, Organic No-Till Farming by Jeff Moyer from Rodale. It just came out. And it's absolutely, absolutely so encouraging. He's been working on this, they've been working on this, a bunch of people working on this for decades. And this book is really the fruit of that. And it is just so practical. It goes through the, you know, here's how you calibrate the roller crimper and all that kind of stuff is in there. Um, I think I'll just leave it at that. Organic no-till is really awesome, and we need lots and lots and lots and lots more of it. Um, this is something coming out of Australia, uh, no-kill cropping and pasture cropping. Essentially, it's a system where they have a, a natural grassland or a pasture, and they use a no-till planter, which has very thin shanks, and they plant annual crops like wheat right into it. And they time it such that, let's say you have this around here, the best I can use this now, I guess you would have a, a warm season grass as your pasture grass, like a, um, uh, what's that stuff, uh, gamma grass or something. And then you would, you would uh, mow or graze that down in the fall. And then you'd, you'd go through with your no-till planter and you'd put wheat in. You'd have a, basically a winter crop of wheat that would come out in the spring before the gamma grass emerges again. I just think that's so cool. Now, is it going to work here and not Australia? I have no idea, but somebody definitely needs to try. <laughs> needs to try. It's super cool. Get a sip of water and get excited over here. Uh, alley cropping, much more popular in the tropics where the typical form, uh, often on contour on the hillside, is um, rows of annual crops with, um, with strips of nitrogen fixing trees and shrubs that are cut, coppiced, they re-sprout afterwards, and that's laid down as mulch on the, uh, on the annual area. Um, and it's a very, very nice soil building, erosion preventing agroforestry technology. In the U.S., it's mostly been used as a technique to make some money while you're waiting for the trees you planted to grow, because things grow really slow here. So on the left, those are black walnut trees with corn growing in between. So while you wait for the walnuts or the timber, which is a long time, you have a yield. You're making some money. 